Thank you, Dr. Rick, for a fascinating discussion and sharing your life's work with us uh, on the Psych Symposium. I uh, think we've, we're saving somewhat the, the, the best to last, and I'm delighted to welcome the Honourable uh, Sabato Caesar, Minister for Agriculture, Forestry, Fis Fisheries and Rural Transformation in St. Vincent and Grenadines. Uh, Minister, you're very, you're very welcome to Prohibition Partners Live. Thank you very much, Stephen, and it's nice to be here to discuss a matter of first importance and one that is very topical. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Minister, we've, we've been very lucky to, to, to have you on board and, you know, we, over the last number of months, we have seen transformative regulatory changes across predominantly North America in Oregon, now looking at San Francisco and other uh, smaller smaller cities and states across the US. However, you've recently announced a, a major initiative regarding looking at taking a, a national approach to developing a medical program around psychedelics. And this is something that is obviously uh, very forward looking, but something that may not come uh, to mind when people think of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So what, what was it about psychedelics and how did the psychedelic program uh, come to fruition? Let, I have to put the entire conversation within a particular context. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have two major means of production and productivity. And one has to do with tourism, the other agriculture. We also have a, a small manufacturing industry. Over the years, we have produced several commodities in agriculture, mainly sugarcane, arrowroot, root crops, cotton at one time. But in 1950, we started the production of bananas. As a result of the removal of our preferential treatment, pursuant to the results of a World Trade Organization decision, it was no longer feasible for us to compete internationally with other banana producers. Therefore, in the late 90s, 1990s, we began in St. Vincent and the Grenadines a particular quest to diversify the agriculture sector. Since then, we have looked at many different commodities that we can have developed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to create employment for our farmers. We started in 2016 into 2017 to address the possibilities and the opportunities available and opened to us as a country to establish a modern medicinal wellness industry. And the first pillar that we sought to develop was that concern in the production of cannabis. And I want to, to clearly note and, and to state that all our work, whether it is in cannabis or psilocybin, psychedelics, will be conducted within the, the precincts and within the regulations of international law and those which are particularly outlined by the International Narcotics Control Board, whereby you can develop any plant, any extract, once it is being done for medicinal purposes or scientific research. So I want to, from the outset, state that we are not participating in recreational cannabis or recreational psychedelics. So we started on our journey to develop a modern medicinal wellness industry. We established the Cannabis Authority. There are investors here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who have embarked on the full development of the value chain for production. And uh, we have 
sought to ensure that all the verticals will be in place in very short order. But I want to single out and I want to, to mention the hard work and dedication of SVG Biomed and Mirror Life Sciences. Over the last eight months, their work has been detailed in a memorandum of understanding and it is geared towards the establishment of a feasibility study to explore all of the possibilities and opportunities through this study that can be obtained and pursued through psychedelics and in particular psilocybin. So you, 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 you've had these fantastic, I suppose, partners as part of as part of this program, but as with any small nation, not just in, in, in the Caribbean, they, they are looking for they are look, looking for ways of growing and, um, and 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 raising their profile, and of course and of course it attracting businesses and investment from, from all around the world. So, what is it that you know? How what is the competitive advantage? that St. Vincent and the Grenadines has when it comes to psychedelics and when it comes to supporting the psychedelic initiatives? Well, from the onset, I want to, to note that St. Vincent and the Grenadines is open to do business when it comes to the establishment of a modern wellness platform. We are aware that we can continue to build on our natural beauty as an island, or the marketing of our destination as one of the premier tourism destinations in the entire world. And there is a $400 billion medicinal wellness industry out there for us to have our stakeholders in St. Vincent and the Grenadines working with foreign direct investors to be mobilized and organized to harness some of these resources that can be deduced from the industry. It is critical to note that the development of this industry is going to be led by the private sector. Mm -hmm. There are persons in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who have expressed an interest, but it is important that we see an amalgamation of persons who have the capital, have the know-how, and have the soul to do what we wish to have done in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are not a, a destination, we are not a country where we are going to entertain persons who basically just want to, to come and go on a fishing expedition. We are well aware that a small island developing state can establish a nutraceutical industry and uh, that can further develop into a pharmaceutical industry. It is our intention in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to have tourists from around the world come to our country for treatment as it pertains to psychedelics, as it pertains to coming to clinics in our destination, and what do we have to offer that is cutting edge. Firstly, over the past years, we are moving towards and trending towards having organic production in our country be central to all cultivation. We have a complete ban on aerial spraying. That is not something that you find in a lot of different countries. We have a total ban on all glyphosate products. So for example, there is no roundup or touchdown that can be used in St. Vincent and the Grenadines because we have to produce a very pure, healthy, and safe system for production if we are to advance a modern medicinal industry from the standpoint of cultivation to the standpoint of treatment in the clinics. We have a stable government. In fact, um, the Unity Labour Party, the current administration has just been returned to office for a fifth term. We also are very up to date as it pertains to international banking, 
transparency, accountability. We, uh, we have the factors of production necessary for the development of a modern medicinal wellness industry. Our labor force is extremely talented and educated. And we have many doctors, persons in agriculture, a cadre in particular of young persons who are willing and ready to join with foreign direct investors to be able to set up that lattice and that platform so that we can be able to engage in significant production in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So you've you've talked about you know the, the need for private businesses to support the the the, the evolution of this domestic psychedelic industry within St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you talked about SVG and, and, and Mira. Can you give us some a better understanding as to or or more detail around the licensing process and if it is all going to be, if, if it's based for internationals looking at, at domestic licenses, or does it also support uh, domestic companies who may want to be involved? At this point, we are at the stage where we are conducting a, a feasibility study. So there is a memorandum of understanding between SVG Biomed and Merca Life Sciences to basically outline the framework from the standpoint of the sciences and also the standpoint from the, the business side. So this is expected and anticipated to take place over the next few months. That is the intention. We will, after that process, come up with a, an outline, a blueprint as to how we are going to develop and advance this industry. As I noted earlier, we have learned from the failures taking place in several other destinations. And uh, one thing that we are not going to do, we are not going to rush in and not study all of the possibilities and opportunities. Because when an investor comes into an environment, there's a need for certainty. And that is what St. Vincent is going to offer. It's going to offer one, not only a stable currency, but also a stable regulatory framework which will be governed and which will be advanced by the Bureau of Standards. We have to ensure that this regulatory framework, all the conditions and all the conditionalities are in place so that when we present you the St. Vincent and the Grenadines opportunity, it is an opportunity that you can trust, it is an opportunity that you can believe in, and it is an opportunity that you can take to other investors so that they can put their dollar and be sure that the returns will be there. So, so, so one of, thank you, one of the, a, a key theme that kept repeating itself today was around sustainability and working through the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the value chain. And one of the questions asked uh, from, from our audience was about, how you know how is this going to have a, a local impact and resonate locally and, and, and impact the the public of St. Vincent and, and, and Grenadines? As part of the, uh, I'm interested to know as part of the feasibility study or the, the, the license, the potential licensing, what have you built in that um, maybe has a direct impact locally or, or provisioned for that will have an impact locally? We have already started discussions with a, a cadre of local professionals because at the end of the day, it has to be grounded locally. So the Bureau of Standards, which is that body in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which regulates standards. So even though psilocybin is not a scheduled drug, there is a consensus that any development of the usage, cultivation of psilocybin, whether you're cultivating it on farms or you are using it in clinics, that it has to be done within the presence of a fully articulated, well-outlined regulatory framework. Therefore, we have our local lawyers, we have our local doctors, 
We have our local entrepreneurs and also persons who have studied agriculture from a production standpoint. So significantly, we see this as an opportunity, not only for persons to come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to receive treatment, but a significant employment avenue for persons, because what we are establishing is a modern medicinal wellness industry. We are looking at sassafras. We are looking at ibogaine. We are looking at the mushroom for psilocybin. We are also going to look at extracts from ginger, from turmeric, from aloe vera, and all the other plants that we have in St. Vincent. There's something that I must note, that St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have a history whereby there was the movement of persons hundreds of years ago from South America to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and other islands in the Caribbean. There was also the movement of people from Africa to the Caribbean, from Asia to the Caribbean, and also from Europe. And what did they bring with them? They brought with them different forms of medicine. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have plants which are used in South America for medicine, used in Asia for medicine, used in Africa, and also in Europe. What we want to do coming out of this feasibility study is to look at all the possibilities and opportunities open from all of these plants. So it's not only cannabis, it's not only psychedelics, but it is about <clears throat> obtaining nutrients and treatment from every possible available plant and turning the production of and the extraction of nutrients from these plants into a nutraceutical industry and the possibility of turning it into a pharmaceutical industry. So we are seeing a country on the move to lift production higher, to engage in full diversification, but also St. Vincent and Grenadines must be the place where you want to come when you don't feel well because doctors from across the world will be here, they will be trained, and they will be at that beautiful destination with all the facets available for you to have a better life and livelihood. Well, I was, I, I was going to, I was going to ask you, you know, what, what, what does the next five years look like? But I think we can somewhat <laughs> picture it. When, when you think of, when you think of traditional healthcare and, and, and retreats, you may think of the Swiss Alps. But yes. I think moving forward, when you think of uh, psychedelic retreats and, 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 and wellness centers, uh, Saint, 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 Saint Vincent and the Grenadines may come to mind. So I, I, I understand where you are, where you are looking to, to, to position and I suppose understand the, 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 the next, what the next five years has in store. Um, if for, say for those, you know, just, just before we conclude, for those who are interested in learning out more, what is the best steps uh, for, 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 for the industry to learn more about the process? Well, St. Vincent and, and the Grenadines, as I noted, we are open for business. There is the opportunity to be in contact with Invest SVG. I also mentioned two, two companies that have already expressed a significant interest, and there is an, an MOU which has already been drafted. You could contact also the Ministry of Agriculture, but the preference is to speak to Invest SVG because we want to ensure that everything is streamlined. And I want to assure persons who are listening, persons who are following, it is going to be an excellent opportunity to invest in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Minister, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Um, to everybody, that concludes day one of Prohibition Partners Live. Uh, I hope you join us again tomorrow for a day focused on policy and reform. But uh, Minister, thank you very much and everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.